what's going on this Okay, well, we got, uh, we got the engine picker over here now. So now, or the bigger, the starter engine picker over here. Now we can actually maybe get this motor out of here. But we stand the snowball's chance in hell of getting it out of here. But, The motor comes in and out of the same stuff. Fairly easy. Oh, oh we got a yeah, we still got the we got an exhaust uh, oh. hey, hey hey sweet here's off too oh but I didn't no, we didn't really take into account the motor's gonna swing I should have twisted the chain when I put the that's okay size we go? Yep. You gotta be kidding me, no? No, that can't possibly be. That is everything. You gotta be kidding me. No freaking way. <laughs> Serious? YouTube, first motor pull in a new shop with different tools. I guess we're going to have to do some learning here, so we're going to think of a solution. Well, there we go. We got it out. Had to get a little creative, but, but we got it done. And, uh, yeah, you can definitely see where the oil is coming from. Boy, that thing is a wreck. Don't see any cracking though. Is there something going on around that spark plug that I don't see? Yeah, who knows? We'll find out later. We'll get her fingered out. So let's. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get it on an engine stand, and then we can roll it over and swap oil pans and all that good nonsense. Okay, you too. It is the new year. We've got everybody here and a couple new people and such. And turkey! We has turkey as Kayla has just shown you. And we're ready to fire up Bronco. So, Bronco away! L-U-O Tubo, we're going to put the charger on it. Charger. More cowbell. Roman's as excited about this as I am. 
So, YouTube, we got the gas primed all up, and uh, because we were wasting your time cranking the motor, and I was really getting tired of it, so we just dribbled a little gas in with our gas jug. Hey, hey, where is that gas thing? Because I don't want to drink it. Um, <laughs> No, nope, you're good. Nope. Everybody smell their beer. Yeah, Found it. Found it. <laughs> YouTube, the gas jug. A little liquid encouragement. Uh, loving it. Loving it. Oh, God. Yeah, good, good. We're going to put the hood on. And uh, we're all very excited. And of course, any big film, there's some benefits to that whole thing. As so many people you know, uh, if you watch these videos, anything that gets fixed or built, all right, you notice how it drives. No, wrong side. Anyways, as you notice how it drives, this is the one time where it's a really big benefit. So I've never gotten that. You can ride in this. Me, uh, or grab me one of them bolts from that side. Yep. There. But anyways, this is a vehicle that I've never really got to ride in when the engine was right. So this is actually one thing I've been wanting for about two years now. So two years of testing out other vehicles finally paid off. Okay, make sure you follow in the pink marks, Bill. Bill, are you excited? Oh yeah. What? You, Jordan. As long as you introduce yourself to YouTube appropriately and tell them that you're not afraid of your image being monetized on YouTube. <laughs> I'm Jordan and I give my presentation for YouTube. <laughs> it ain't even fired up. He's already hey. in. All of us. No, no, not all of us. Oh, you gotta push that button in first part. No, no, I don't do my own guinea pig runs. That's why we have Phil. We have Phil for the guinea pig runs. Then if something blows up or he goes to jail, you know, I can just exemplify myself. <laughs> I got to hope us this guy. That's what friends do. Yeah. I was going to call him back, but I'm going to see you walking. Are you serious? God, this thing looks good. So, you do. I got to show you what we've done to it aside from just the motor. You'll see that the tires are slightly larger. Now those 32's we were talking about, that's them right there, 125 bucks for the set. And I feel that I did pretty well there. So, it looks, I don't know if it shows very well on camera, but boy oh boy does it look better than it did before. Now, so, I'm not even going to be riding the thing on the Hey guys, hold up, hold up. <laughs> now, if I remember this Bronco right, pump it twice, turn the key, and don't hit the gas while you're turning the key. Hang on, let me put my sweatshirt on. Because I am just ecstatically. Because you're going to fall out and watch. <laughs> this is a moment that YouTube has been looking for for a long time. A properly running ground cow. 400 ground cow. 400 ground cow. I don't even have the hood gap. It's kind of decent. I got to adjust that one a little bit. But Okay, guys. Here we go.
So. Ooh, it's badass. <laughs> Did it feel like the choke was stuck? Yeah, it fluttered itself out quite a bit. Okay. But it's still, it ain't, oh god, it'll sit in your seats. It'll, it'll still sit yeah. back a lot. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah that's good. good, good. You'll brown it back. Did it sound smooth? Any chips, knobs, rattles, noises? No. And I, I got no doubts I gotta adjust this carburetor to compensate for what the old motor was doing. I haven't even messed with this car, dude. I haven't touched the carburetor. All I did was pull it off and put it back on. So I mean at the timing, I left the timing exactly like it was on the old motor. I didn't even didn't even touch it. Oh, it's, I think it could be more if you had on the engine. Does it feel like? It feels strong, but it, it, there's work to add out there. Cool, cool. Badass. Silence, people! Tomorrow, we'll put gas in it and we'll take it for another spin.